All right, if it wasn't for making videos, you know, I just wouldn't do nothing. So, uh, this video is about doing something. And we're real time. We'll, yeah. All right, let's get this on top of my head. All right, so we got the respirator on. Ooh. We're going we're gonna to go pretty fast. I bet you in two minutes, I'll be drilling something. Uh, probably not. Probably three, three minutes. Four minutes tops. Got the driver's license. We need the keys. Uh, and the keys are in a weird place because we need to get this in the car. All right. Well, let's go do it. So, what are we doing? Well, I don't want to talk when I'm outside, so, uh, just enjoy the ride. All right, and I, I, I'm not talking outside because I'm doing it more for the neighbors, you know what I mean? Every, everyone needs to feel like they have their own space outside, and if I'm outside 24-7, you know what I mean? No one owns the outside. Uh, when your neighbor is just outside all the time, you know what I mean, in a lawn chair, staring at your house, uh, you can't breathe, you know what I mean? So we all need to participate uh, and, and do our part to make sure the outside environment's for everyone. Uh, but no one uses outside because we live in 2023 and, uh, you know, so if no one's going to be outside, I'm going to be outside. Hell yeah. Um, I'm going to be in that lawn chair. Uh, you're probably not looking at your house. I'm just going to be looking at the thoughts in my head. You know what I mean? That's more exciting. All right. So what are we doing? You know, that was probably two minutes, but I, I like I said, oh, we're taking this off. Uh, so this thing, and now I'll, I'll get in here. You know what I mean? It, it, it don't it don't go this way, and it should if the hole's bigger. Uh, so we're gonna rip this out of here, and and, and because it, the hole, it's real hard to get this in. You know, I just want to go straight in, uh, and I don't really want to change this pin. But all they'll do, you can probably see better than me. But we're just gonna make that hole bigger. And hopefully, we can do this in just a couple minutes. Alright, and this thing ain't too bad. This is like 10 pounds. I don't know how much it is. It might be 15. It don't feel like it's 20 pounds, though. Alright, so we're going to drill this puppy. And just the other day, I was, always, I was like, how low can this thing go? Uh, and like I say, we, we were trying to hit that two minute mark for drilling. Well, probably not at the two minute mark, but we're almost there. Basically, lights on. Uh, gonna drop this like a rock. Drop it like it's hot. And I need to drop it more. I basically need to go as far as this thing will go down. And uh, it don't matter kind of where it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, we want it out to the side. And because uh, we're just gonna rest this on it. So the more out to the side it is, the better. And uh, shoot, 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 shoot. We're nowhere near. So we really need to spin this thing. I, I don't know, just put it right here. Hey, that that's looking better. Are, 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 we, uh, are we where we want to be? Nope, I need to spin it even more. Okay, look at that. So yeah, use your drill press. We just, we just need to drill a hole right through there. Well, isn't this the dumbest way to drill a hole? It really is. Because there's too much going on here. And, uh... But no, the drill press is real good. Because you can real control it. The other way is doing a hand drill. And, uh, so here's the quick tip. If you're if you're trying to use a hand drill, you know, to, to, to drill anything through this thin stuff, it'll just rip your arm off. So you want to use this. You know what I mean? This will not rip your arm off. You, you can increase the thickness just, just one at a time. And that would be the simpler way to go. And I think we could do this. Every homeowner could use a hand drill and a tapered bit and go in this way one and go in that way one. But I think what you came to see is, uh, is using these. So I think we already did the 11 sixteenths and we're going up, we're going up to three quarters. And uh, well, isn't this three quarters? Nope, nope, nope. Isn't this three quarters? Nope. I thought I had one that was three quarters, and this one is definitely not. Okay, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but we're, we're gonna use this, and we're gonna see if it just bites like hell and then just throws it. 
um, throws it at me. Uh, gloves are gonna be off because I hear you're not supposed to drill with gloves on. Well, well, that's all. I've always heard that. Um, and uh, it's taken me 10 years to care. Uh, but that's why I got the, well, it wasn't about caring, I, you know, uh, it's just I didn't want to get my hands dirty. Well, that's why you have these. You know what I mean? This way I can keep my hands baby smooth. You know what I mean? I, I don't want big. I don't want it to look like a. You know what I mean? Death Valley of cracks in my hand every day. You know what I mean? Even right now, man, they could use some moisturization. Um, but anyway, so that's what these are for. I don't even care if these are tore up. But yeah, and you can grab it all day, and it's just going to rip this. It's not going to just rip your arm right off. That would suck. All right, I think we tightened that. Uh, I need some ear protection. So yeah, definitely did not take... I mean, we're, we're six minutes in, and we haven't even started the drill. But that's all right. It's real time. I'm, we'll, we'll be done in eight. You know I mean? Probably not. Probably not. But All right, and, and some uh, tricks of the trade... You know what I mean? Get this from Ace Hardware. Get it from Ace Hardware. I don't know. They have. I don't even know what the brand is. But like, hell yeah. It's a... Uh, this is flax oil. It doesn't freeze. Flax oil. Crack my voice. You can have this in the wintertime. It won't freeze. So anyway. Get a little oil on it. Hell yeah. I don't want to super oil it. But uh, yeah. We just want to see if this even works. Holy Toledo. Holy hell. All right, we're going to get it lined up. And, uh, okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. And if you come down to here and you're like, you don't want to grab that one, we'll follow this one around and we'll grab that one. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oops. But, yeah, that was crazy. I, I, I apologize. That was too fast. Uh, I was thinking that would have been better, but no, it wasn't. But if that was a hand drill, your arm would just be about 30 feet that way. Your body would be here, but your arm would be 30 feet that way. So, because it, it, it digs in and it makes those marks. So... I guess I gotta juice the hole just a little bit. Get get some oil in there. Oh my god, I just spilled oil everywhere. But yeah, get some more oil in there. We'll clean the oil up later. Oh, this, this is all, that's as far as she goes. Yeah, holy Toledo. I was just like, why ain't it cutting? Because it's as far as it goes. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna slide this up to there okay okay perfect and then we'll get this in there hell yes yeah, that, that's looking good Okay, we, we made a lot of mistakes, you know what I mean? When it's all wobbly like that, that that's crazy. But, but, you know, what I was trying to do was just put a little bit of pressure because I, I needed to find it, you know what I mean? You're just like, you're just like, go find it, you know what I mean? You're just like, oh, it's wobbly. You at least need a little pressure to go find it because you don't want to just be up here going super slow and then it's just banging back and forth. So you got to go find it. But then, once it's locked in, you know what I mean, then take your time. What I did was just like, Ugh, tried to reap on it, that was dumb. But, you know what I mean, it, it's a drill press. It, it, ain't, it ain't a hand drill, so it's not going to rip my arm off. And then, uh, yeah, then I had to reposition. 
and yeah, because uh, yeah, but because it, the, the, it stopped right there. But then yeah, I was able to go all the way through, and uh, yeah, I, I'm satisfied. We did something. It took ten minutes, and guess what? Oh oh oh, you want to see it work? Like why the hell we even do that? Okay, so uh, yeah, the whole point of that was uh, because our hitch pin was not going through here, like at all. And uh, so we're, we're gonna clean up and uh, get the oil back. Man, I think I shot some oil over there. Get this back. And I'll be like, where the hell is this? Because uh, yeah, it may, maybe we'll get that back up there. Put your tools away. That's always satisfying. You know what I mean? Is anything else out? I mean, can we do one more thing? Not really. And uh, get the garbage can back. Whoa, get this over here. But yeah, well, let's get this puppy back up. You know what I mean? You gotta grab both sides. If you spin it first, you might be able to see it uh, loosen up. But yeah, holy Toledo. There you go. This is not worth it. Not worth lowering that because that, that takes some effort. All right, and we'll just get it right there. Okay, so that's back turned off. Uh, let's go see if we did the right thing. I don't need this right now, but we'll put it on and take it off and make sure it works. Okay, get, get where you can. And uh, essentially, I, mean, I just want to stick it in. Hell yeah. So it just goes right in. And because it's nice and loose, uh, this can pass that point. I don't know why they made this. Yeah. Well, it, it's a... it's a. Anyway, anyway. This is as low as it can be because, man, you go over a curb and this will hit. It'll just scrape right off. But anyway, yeah, so we were able to get this right down there. Uh, we were able to throw the hitch pin in just nice and smooth. I don't know, maybe make, maybe make a viral video on how to get these things in uh, a lot easier. I mean, I think if you twist it like that, that might help. I, I, I don't know. Like, besides just brute force, I mean, in 10 years, there's no way I'm gonna be able to push a hitch pin in. How, how do you actually get that in there? Um, we're gonna make a little video, I swear. Let, let's, let's figure out something. We're gonna see if just a little hammer, you know, would a hammer work? And I, I got a couple hammers right here. Because, I mean, if my life depends on it, there's no way I'm going to get that hitch pin in. If someone's like, in two seconds, you're either going to live or you're going to die. Uh, because you got to get this hitch pin in. It's just like, well, I, I'm going to take a couple more breaths and, and just relax. Because, yeah. So anyway, so we're just going to see. If you take a little hammer, I bet you this will work. Like, most people just have normal hammers. Uh, I don't know. Just like one, two. Whoa, don't do that. Man, that would pierce my skull. Okay. So that, that did not work at all. That didn't work at all. Because the hammering... Um, I, need to, I need to get this on top of my head. Get in a position where you can see. I know we're sideways, but... You know, let, let's say I just put my fingers on it and let's say I tap it in like it's a... Uh, yes, I, I think that's good. You know what I mean? If, if, I, if I put it right here, treat it like a nail, and then just go one, two, well, hell yeah, then I can get it in. And pulling it out is easy. I just literally wanted just an easier way to get these in. So if you hold it like a nail, uh, if you hold it like a nail, uh, then you can take a hammer. I'm, I'm sorry the angle is just so bad. We're, we're gonna get to where you can see. I don't know, can you see a damn thing? So anyway, you hold it like a nail, and then just one, uh, and it's still hard, but you know what I mean? You can see when you started to get it, and then you can just finish the job. So we're gonna do this like two or three more times. See if I can just do it in one go. Oh man. Pick up the hammer. All right, so we're just gonna, I, I, but I would tap once first just to see if it's going. It's going, so I would take four taps. But yes, perfect. Uh, and I might do this, because I hate putting these hitch pins in. 
like I, I'm a pretty talented individual but but at the end of the day if my life depends on it hell no I'm just gonna be like I've, I've enjoyed the ride uh, there's no way I'm getting this thing in uh, in the allotted time you know what I mean so uh yeah Grim Reaper is like well you can live a couple more years if you can get this hitch pin in in two seconds I'd be like thank you I'm done but uh if I had a hammer in my hand I'd be like all right hell yeah start the clock Mr. Death and I'd be like all right here we go ready one three two one go hell yeah I'm alive for two more years and that's a video All right, hell yeah. So yesterday we raked gravel and uh, is my back feeling okay? Yes. Is it 100%? Hell no. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna use a different technique on how to rake gravel. You know what I mean? It's a little slower. That's why I went to the other technique. But then I just got a little loosey-goosey. Uh, it's, it's too much. Uh, so I'm gonna, hey, if my back is in pain, can I still do a yard work activity? Uh, and the other thing is right now, uh, I, I gotta get some cream on this knee. This knee just feels awful. Uh, just all morning it's felt awful. So uh, that's gonna be a separate video. So I'll catch you on the flip side. Uh, that video is just a commercial. I'm not gonna link it in the description, but but I made a video on, hey, will this cream make my leg feel good? And uh, well, well, let's just go do it. You know what I mean? You're you're along for the ride. And uh, but yeah. So you're gonna you're you're gonna see how I make videos. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. My room's just just a living disaster right now. But uh, I need more grabbers. I don't know. Where my, oh, there's my grabber. Okay, yeah. Because if you got a grabber, heck yeah. Now, now you can now you can do some laundry. Because I definitely want to take this today. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see how laundry can just go right in the bag. So yeah, grabber. It's a magical tool. All right, but but here here's the commercial. All right, hell yeah. Oh, 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 this is arnica gel. You know what I mean? Uh, is it hippie stuff? Well, no, 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 no. I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, you know, if if I'm not, yeah, we'll, we'll try this out. But this is arnica. Oh hell yeah! All right, all right. This is uh, this is not prescription. This is over the counter, baby. But you don't have to ingest it. You know what I mean? This is ibuprofen. Uh, but in a cream, so you know, ain't gonna mess with your stomach. It's gonna mess with whatever it comes in contact with. That's what we want. We want to be like, hell yeah, mess it up, because uh, my knee is just ready to explode. Get this on top of my head, and uh, oh, 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 yeah. The trick of the trade is to uh, you know reuse. You know what I mean? But anyway, I've already reused these. Yeah, they, they smell like uh, uh, this stuff is smelly. It, it, it's uh. Is definitely got the medicine flavor. You know what I mean? It ain't cherry flavor. It's medicine flavored. And uh, whoa, you know, but it's just ready to rock and roll. You throw this on. So that that was my method. When it, when I when I flip them inside out, see, I know this is inside out now. And then so I flip it right side out, and then I don't have to uh, touch any of that medicine. All right, because yeah, it, it's it's toxic. Well, it's not toxic, but it's it's just real scenty. I think they add that scent in. I don't know. It smells like laundry detergent. But, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to see if it even works. Like, right now, there's not a lot of pain on the back of my knee. So, that's good. But there's a lot of pain on the front of my knee. And it might just be all just because I got back pain just a little bit from yesterday. So, uh, we're going to do the one-two punch. And you can see, you know what I mean? If I got clothes on my bed, it looks like I have some back pain. Uh, the clothes are in that box. Well, it looks like uh, I didn't have back pain. If my clothes are in the dressers, be like, whoa. Uh, you know what I mean? That's a miracle. M must have been a miracle. All right, so I'm, I'm, you can't really see, but I'm going to put this on my back. All right, hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, just rub it in, rub it in. Uh, but anyway. Yep. Okay, so got some on my back, got some on my knee, and uh, so, so uh, you know, hopefully it works. In about 10, 20 minutes, you know what I mean, we're going to check in. We're going to check in. But now that I got all the, this one, I didn't really have to use, so that's good. But now flip that inside out, and uh, you know what I mean, 
I guess j just so you know, you know what I mean? Have a little fingers like that. That that means you know you got to flip it right side in. And, and you're just ready for the next application. What what the hell is this called? Well, the you know what I mean? You can save a couple dollars by getting it diclofenax sodium NSAID gel, 1% NSAID. Uh Voltaren. You know what I mean? If you want to if you want to pay for name brand stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, pay for the athlete with his picture on the bottle being like, hell yeah, I can still play football. Um, no, you can't. But uh, but we see the commercial and we appreciate who you are as an individual. So we're going to buy Voltaren. Or, or you just buy this. All right. So, uh, all right. Catch you on the flip side. All right. And I guess uh, that's how I make a commercial. So, uh, uh, but anyway... Uh, th that, that took five minutes so let's get to it actually just directly after putting that on my knee just feels awful so uh um we're, we're going to do a couple stretches we're going to uh we're going to do this one you know what i mean man I, I haven't stretched out in a little while uh and if it really wasn't for making videos i just wouldn't stretch out right now but my knee feels so awful that even just stretching a little bit is real painful. Um, but yeah, you still got to have range of motion. You know what I mean? Just just a slight stretch. This will do it. And I don't know what you do. You know what I mean? I guess you just space out for like 30 minutes. Uh, 30 seconds. Whatever, whatever. I can't even speak. But uh, uh, sometimes I would read a book. So we're going to switch. You know what I mean? Get half... Get like a third of the way through a, a page of a book. Man, it, it, for me, that's like 30 seconds. It takes like three minutes just to read, a, you know what I mean? Like a, two pages. All right, this is a nice stretch, you know what I mean? This is the hardest part of my day. What, am I just supposed to sit here? You know, I guess I got the thoughts going through my head. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. I guess you just relax. I guess nowhere to go. Nowhere to go except right here. All right. Now I can't. I can't put my leg straight. Um, I can't straighten out my leg. I think that'd just be real hell. So I'm just gonna make sure I got a slot bend. But but I still want to do this stretch. I want to put a little traction on the toes. I think uh, stretching out this calf. You know what I mean. Getting this traction on the toes this is gonna real help. Uh, because I don't feel the stretch in my knee. I feel the stretch in my calf. And uh, I just think that uh, my calves are always way tight. Um, it's probably due to something upstairs, you know what I mean? When you when you got knee pain from back pain, you know, the pain originated from uh, your back. Uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, and I get it now. I was like, I didn't really think acupuncture was kind of, uh, you know what I mean, worthwhile. But uh, no, I mean, the fact that, yeah, you got two, you got two bulging discs somewhere in your back. And it's just destroying your body like three or four feet away. You know what I mean? plantar fasciitis your knees ready to explode uh your right hip uh just feels like you know what i mean you want to watch movies for the rest of your life or something i, I don't know um but anyway but yeah this stretch is going to be my favorite i think we can be done even just this stretch the other one i like to do is get to the lip of a stair and then stretch the calf that way. But by putting putting tension on this, just like that, uh, this is uh, that's the same that's the same stretch for doing that. Uh, man, and because we're because we're here, because we're doing it, might as well just do it. I mean, five minutes is better than no minutes. But this one is just king. Get to the end of the bed and you can do this on a flat surface but it's just so much better when you're uh and we'll see see if you can see what i'm doing but anyway because you can get your feet lower and you start in this position keep flat back stomach tight and man you can do this about 10 times if you do it off a of bed oh yeah your feet are heavy your legs are heavy if you do this sitting down, all you can do is go to... If you do this on the ground, you can just go to like there and then pop back up. Uh, and then you got a place to rest your foot. But if you do this off the end of a bed... Holy Toledo. <sighs> but yeah, this is just pure back strengthening. It feels amazing. 
You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, this is the one I should do three times a day. At least once a day. Oh hell yeah, I roll to the side and then just slowly start doing life again. Okay, so uh, yeah, does my knee feel better? Yeah, for, for right now, it feels like pretty decent. Do I feel like if I take a step, my life's going to be horrible again? Yes, yes, that that too. Um, I, I forget where my gloves are. But anyway, grab a couple gloves. Hopefully, these were them. Um, that's got a lot of holes. These gloves just need to get thrown away. But see, I was just going to lean over. Don't want to do that. You want, you want about, you know what I mean? If your birthday's coming up and people are like, well, what can I get you? Grabbers. You know what I mean? You can't have enough of them. You want about three per room because you're just going to lose them. And these things are, they're like 20 bucks. I bought two and that's all I want to buy. You know what I mean? But it's nice to have them at the ready. I just saved myself from bending over. And, uh, all right. How much juice do we have? All right. We're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. All right, let's go do some work. So I think I already... These grabbers are for inside. I got the outside grabbers. And, uh... I, I think we do need some tunes. All right, we're gonna get some tunes going. And we're on our way. Heck yeah, I think pain is just so much better. You know I me, mean? if you got some good music you're listening to. So we're gonna light this up. Now this was like $20, man. This is uh, used phones, you, you can't beat them. And uh, way to go. You know what I mean, you're not gonna butt dial anyone while you're, uh... ah shoot. I, I lost this. I'm going to catch you on the flip side. All right, we're back at it. We got this little guy, found it, and uh, we're going to light up some music. Get this party started. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, before you leave, you want you want to be like, what the hell am I forgetting? Um, well, I'm forgetting, um, I'm forgetting uh, water and my hoodie. I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. All right, got the hoodie. Where you are? Oh, and the phone. Grab the phone. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. All right, hoodie, we got some water, got our grabbers. Hell yeah. And, uh... I feel like I lost a, a water bottle. If it's not in here... Yeah, there it is. So, okay, we found our water bottle. Good to go. I just wanted to make sure I had it. All right, and uh, what the hell? Don't we have keys? I'm sure we do. Just, just take, take a breath. They got, they got the keys, and uh, you know, check the vitals of the car. We got enough gas all day. That's always good. When you got bipolar, that just means you're gonna run out of gas three times a year. That's all that means. You know what I mean? So, we uh, like uh, when someone's like, what, what, what's, what's bipolar like? Well, it's, it's like walking to the gas station. 
you know oh see i feel like i just ran over something but no nah, i'm good I, I checked myself nothing behind me got these metal things right here you know what i mean get where you can see but yeah what's bipolar like well you know what i mean you know you, you see the guy with the with a gallon of gas walking like down the street that's what bipolar's like you know what i mean that is what bipolar's like okay but we're, we're doing good okay so no petties um oh that that sounded uh, sexual no pds that's 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 the way i say it no no pds hey no pedestrians all right so uh uh perfect backing out just nice and slow we got all day there might be somebody backing out behind me you know what i mean that'd just be the worst running into a car on the street holy toledo but uh okay here we go all right so uh we're gonna go up to uh gravel city you know what i mean it, it's parking lot full of gravel and uh it's a uh, you know what i mean it's a little church it's a little church and uh yeah just just you know what i mean we're, we're gonna help them out we're gonna help them out clean their parking lot up but like i said yesterday man you don't want to take out all the gravel and then you're just going to leave big holes like see where this hole is or we're, we're coming up to it you don't want to degravel that it just, you just cause you just go right down to dirt like the gravel is actually holding that hole together but this from there to there uh well damn it damn it we needed to oh we messed up we, we literally i don't know what we're doing we actually need to go back to the park we need to go uh get more we need to get more buckets what the hell was i thinking you know what i mean it's all right so yeah this is, you're just along for the ride you know what i mean half a life is just making mistakes look at that. yesterday wasn't a mistake look at all the goodness we did you know what i mean that's good solid work just make anything to make life you know sparkle you know you know you're doing god's work hell yeah you know what i mean see someone with a sparkle in their eye well you know what i mean the, the, that someone someone did god's work there you know what i mean help that person out put a sparkle in their eye so if you don't see any, if you don't see someone with a sparkle in their eye well you know what i mean treat it like that parking lot you know what i mean help it out a little bit um see if you can get that sparkle back all right so uh buckets i swear to god there's no buckets I mean, we just gotta like salvage buckets, like do whatever we can. We're just gonna kind of go nice and slow through here. There you go. And uh, there might be buckets in there, but uh, anyway, we're just gonna pull into here. Well, we're gonna figure. We can't drive on the lawn no more. You know what I mean? You can do that when it's cold as hell, but no more driving on the lawn. Look at that. Look at that. it. Already looks like back to the future three her uh, uh mess that joke up. it just looks like back to the future you know what i mean just burnt just burnt grass so uh yep but we got to move this trailer maybe we can do that right now you know i, I shouldn't but uh could i move this without like hurting my back hell yeah it moves pretty good just get it started um all right once it started it's a little easier all right perfect so yeah, we can just we can just butt it right up against. I, I bet you I can still get the tractor out, and even these. Whoops, we'll just slide it across. Then I don't have to bend over. All right, got one in, and that's all we need right there, because it's kind of bound in. So I, I literally can just move this one over here. <sighs> all right so we need some buckets kind of mess that up oh yeah there's like four buckets over here heck yeah i think we need about 10 buckets i'm just so glad i got a lot of buckets Woof. all right there you go and then if you're stacking them you know what i mean do this um oh that's like some rocks huh interesting I guess we're gonna put rocks right there but yeah carry your buckets like this and then they won't all get stuck in you know what i mean and always lay your buckets down sideways never stack your buckets like that that's dumb um do them like this 
and we're gonna get as many as we can we're gonna take one trip all right so there's another one and uh, oh here's two holy and these are probably oh they're not stuck together perfect but yeah you put them like this yeah, you can transport them and uh they'll never get stuck together hey look at this all right are we done with that gravel i think we are i think we are i think we can take that gravel one two three four five six seven eight nine all right we got nine buckets but i swear we probably need as many as we can you know what i mean we need as many buckets as we can and we're gonna take this hopefully this is our strap bucket uh yeah now we're going to the cabin so we should uh i don't know we should maybe take the blower um and we should take the gas because we're, we're trying to go to the cabin and, and do productive work so i'll come back but we're going to take the gas and the chainsaw and the blower and then so if we go out to the cabin um and that means that we need do need to take all our chainsaw stuff but i think that would be good get a couple productive hours of the cabin because that's the whole point if you're going to drive to the cabin you need to get some productive hours out there no reason just to drive out there but um we are doing something very productive we're recycling all this uh gravel not just throwing it in the landfill Man, I should have had the door open. All right. I think that's just going to like fall over and just destroy destroy my rake. So yeah, there we go. I think it's going to destroy that nozzle. Okay. Man, we're going to be backing up again. Look, there's no cars for miles. Well, perfect. There's a car down there. We'll be just in time. Uh, that's something to do. You know what I mean? Don't just get in a car and floor it. So, so if you walk around it once, you know what I mean? Um, holy Toledo! I need to get my tires changed. It's almost summertime. We had such a brutal winter. Uh, I guess you got till May 5th to take off your studded tires. Um. But I don't know. I think I'm about due for... They weren't very good this year anyway. You know what I mean? So, like, what? At some point, your studded tires just become normal tires? You know, that don't work that good? I don't know. Uh, I felt like they worked good for two years. But then this third year... Man, they, they, this winter, they did not work very good. Um, all right. So, we got our 10 buckets. Got our respirator we're definitely recording and uh we'll, we'll get the angle down you know and just put it where we can see it because we got to get ready for that don't want to be you know n nothing worse than just bad angles with gopro videos so yeah i'm trying to get as good as good as i can get showing you guys what and gals what i'm doing all right <sighs> i guess just leave the keys in here wow yeah that was a deep sigh but i think we're doing good you know what i mean we're gonna, we're gonna definitely use that tool and uh, this is the tool we're gonna use today you know what i mean we're gonna go real smart um we're gonna get all these buckets out of here whoa i might break my back just getting these buckets out okay buckets are out one of them's got gravel in them which one's got gravel? Oh, it's this one. Okay, so we'll just start right here. All right, respirator on, baby. And I don't know how much angle you need. Probably not, not that much angle. I mean, they're doing a hell of a lot of construction over there. All right, music in, here we go. All right, just this.
I mean, honestly, like this. So we do need our other tool. We need this thing. Because we need a place to put our rake. But it's a pretty good digging tool. You know, never, I don't have to ever, uh... I guess we gotta loosen it up though. But uh, I'd say it works pretty good. All right, that's full. We're on to the next one. See if we can just drag it. I gotta I kinda gotta bend over more for that, so uh, I don't I don't like that method. Alright, I think we're ready to loosen it up though. And then it will definitely go this way. And we definitely can get a little closer, just right here. But the one thing I can't do, I can't shovel. I can't do this with my back. There is just nothing worse. So I can dig a hole, you know what I mean? If I have like a tool like this, hell yeah. And it would be good to have a little scraping hoe, the same thing, but longer. Like if I had a really long stick on this, I mean, essentially I would just get down here like this, uh, but for whatever reason, it don't work that good that direction. Well, it didn't work that good that direction either, so. Alright, loosen it up.
And this literally is like three feet of gravel. That's a lot. Hell yeah, we're able to get another bucket. See, even right here, get the grabbers. I mean, I want another bucket. Hell yeah, I got another bucket. And even putting the bucket down. Yeah, I mean, use the grabbers. Put the grabbers in a place where you can reach them.
All right, we got 24% juice. We got uh, switch batteries. Uh, well, well, let's not. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just maximize this stuff. All right, 22% juice, let's do it. And this is all broke up through here. So, you know what I mean? You don't want to hit it too much or else it's just going to break up more. So just a nice little skim maybe. And that's literally holding that together. Yeah, just do a nice little skim. All right, we're basically uh, on our finish lap. I need more buckets though. Holy Toledo, we're gonna run out of buckets. And we're gonna use this one, but it's got a hole in it. But uh, so what we'll do is we'll fill it with, uh, you know what I mean, some of the loose stuff. You know what I mean, pack it full of, uh, grass that'll fill that hole then it just won't leak dust i mean i think that's like all you need and that, that'll that'll fill that hole Ooh, did not do a good job there all right i gotta, I gotta get the tunes in we just gotta work Oh, and this is really where you could uh, probably just rake it in. It's kind of like the technique with the big garbage can, but... Uh, and once it fills up, the only thing you need to get is uh, somewhere to prop your rake. You don't have to always lean over.
But yeah, even, even just right here. You know what I mean? If you're going to rake, you might as well have it go into something. And yeah, you can really fill it up if you want to. All right, that thing's full though. Gotta go for our next one. Ho ho, spilling everywhere. But yeah, we'll check this out. This is already loose anyway, so we can just kind of come through here. Uh, I don't know, that rake method is probably the best. Throw it right there, set it, get this where we need it. I mean, get it as close as possible. You know what I mean? There's no reason to rake uh, your gravel more than like a foot. Ho oh, ho, 9% juice. We, we, we gotta switch batteries. All right, catch you on the flip side. Oh, hell yeah, welcome back. Yeah, don't rake your gravel more than a foot. You know what I mean? If you raked it over there, hell, hell, get this. You know what I mean? Yeah, even if you want to go over here and, and catch a spot. Uh, but I think we're about good over here. All right, home stretch, baby, home stretch. I'm breaking my rule. Don't rake gravel more than a foot. Holy Toledo. I mean, come in here. There you go. Another foot.
Hell yeah, another foot. All right, that's heavy. I feel like I'm walking too much, but that's just such as life. These are over here. Uh, man, 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 man. Uh, I mean, do things right. If you got back pain, like get right up to this. I mean, hell, you could even use your grabbers. I mean, do whatever you need to do for just one less bend and over. I mean, can I, can I even, or do this, push it forward a little? Hell yeah. You got it on the lip. Now you can slide it right on. All we're doing is taking this bucket over there. But we did it without back pain. All right, right there, baby. Okay, this looks good. This looks all done to about here. And now it's go time. Final, home stretch, home stretch. Yeah, to about here. I mean, I, got, I really got to redo this, but we were saying we can't take too much. I mean, that's about it. Also, we're just taking, uh, taking the asphalt off. last one just every every last drop get that in there that is dirt all right finish her off all right for what for what we're doing i think we did it i think we did it uh you know what i mean we have a hell of a lot of dust right here but at the end of the day that's just dust we'll blow that into the street uh let's do that right now you know what i mean i mean is there is there any more is there any more i mean like right here do we get this? All right, hell yeah. I mean, we could fill the buckets up, but let's uh, let's get the backpack blower. We'll still avoid, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll be able to just blow this, blow this that way, and see what what happens. All right, hell yeah, oh, ho, 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 what's going on, what's going on? Damn it, okay. Electricity on. I'm gonna try to, holy, we need our grabbers, we need our grabbers, there they are. I mean, just any movement, any unnecessary movement. So we're gonna go down on this knee. All right, gonna do cold start. Our electricity's on, one, two, three, Two quick pulls, three quick pulls, throw it in a run. Hell yeah, here we go.
All right, hell yeah, hell yeah. What do we want to do first? Let's do, let's do this stuff first. You know what I mean? Same thing. You know, only go a foot, rake a foot. You're raking ground. We almost need a broom for this. This is kind of ridiculous, but. Uh, Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do this. Kind of rake three feet. Because you kind of need a pile. All right, hell yeah. Yeah, one more. That'll do it. Yeah, people don't realize that when you blow gravel, you got like 50 pounds of gravel like every square foot. It definitely adds up. And just really be careful around this. I mean, I just popped a pop the spot out. So just let it have dirt in it until you actually go to re-cement it. Yeah, holy Toledo. And again, yeah, don't rake more than a foot. You're gonna come in here at all. And uh this is where you gotta be careful, you don't wanna take off the asphalt.
Oh, hell yeah, vitamin D, we're getting it today. This is excellent. Eh? All right, down to the last bucket. But yeah, the name of the game, you know what I mean? If you're gonna rake gravel, don't rake gravel more than one foot. You know what I mean? That's a freebie on me. Oh, that's it that's it that's the last one all right so uh we are done and these things are hella heavy this is where the test becomes a test can we even transport these without destroying our back uh we're gonna find out we are definitely going to find out uh, for the time being, we're going to leave all the stuff. We got to empty the van. We got to empty the van. So we're just going to put this here. All right, put that stuff over here. Hell yeah, we got to get we got to get everything out of here. gonna take it so we don't have to go far we don't have to go far with it we'll just put it right here uh, hell yeah all right first up is this one I have no idea how to do this without hurting the back. I, I really don't. We're going to try a few methods. We're going to do this, get down on this knee. Hell yeah. And then we're just going to go straight up. Yep, that's heavy as hell. Okay, and as long as we're not holding on to it, 
You know what I mean? You can get up and get in a better position. Now I'm actually just going to rotate it down, clear the notch, and then we'll just roll it in. And uh, we'll walk it like, like we're walking a dog, and we'll get to right to there. Perfect. All right, so we'll do a couple more, but if this sucks, I'm not going to, I'm going to stop. It's interesting. I almost need a device where, where, where you, you go like this. I mean, I mean, if you can just get any part of this, like uh, underneath there. So yeah, just even just a little, just using my foot. That's so much better because now we have a sliding surface. Uh, well, like yeah, you can kick at it. We'll see. Yeah, just using physics. And then we're just going to get it over here. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully these aren't too full. All right, same thing. Going to kneel down. Because this knee is still pretty good. We're going to go straight up. And that was a little bit too much rotation. Okay, so we're going to pop up. Kind of take a break. Uh, but yeah, now we're just going to walk the dog. Uh, get in here. Okay, so that one's there. All right, let's try another one. All right, just put a foot in it. We're just trying to get underneath it. There you go. Hell yeah. And now we can uh, just use physics. But this is the hardest part right here. This is crazy. Um, I think, you know, getting it right there. Because this one has a handle, we're going to use it. And uh, we're just going to go straight up. Keep it straight back. Hey, I got it on the lip. Take a break. Uh, we're going to roll it back. Okay, we got it off. So now we're just going to go just little bits at a time. And uh, man, this walking the dog just tears up all this stuff. So, All right, hey, we're done with that one. Come out, do a check-in, make sure we're... Make sure we're okay. Man, I got to get this respirator off. All right, and that had the music in. So there you go. Now I can, uh, are we still going strong? Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, now, now I can hear myself talk and think. Just, I just go at a, just an easier pace. Uh, yeah, it's so weird. You got headphones and you just talk real loud. You're like, I swear to God, you can't hear me. Um, but but I, li I like this method, you know what I mean? Put a foot in here, e even if you just barely get it. You know what I mean? Let's let's see if we can work with that. Uh, I don't know. So you're just gonna you're just gonna flop it, and then it's at a side angle. So we need to get over here, and now now we'll flippity flop. All right, perfect. Now we can just use physics. Whoa, ho, ho, making our work harder. Um, but yeah, perfect. Same thing. This is a. Uh, We'll dump this one off. You know, I mean, all these motions, just make sure you're not going too strong, because, and then and the motion that counts, I'm just dripping. All right, this is the motion that counts. We're just gonna straight back, come straight up. Got it on, hell yeah. Take a little break, you know what I mean? Roll it forward, there you go. And, and now you're just walking, walking the dog. And you're just right there, good enough. All right, so, man, I feel like my, my back's gonna be worse after today. I mean, cause that's, that's a lot of these things, but you know what I mean? And, and man, we're, we're, this stuff is just gonna pop out everywhere. So we gotta push it down, make sure it don't pop out everywhere. 
All right, so we're gonna go forward. We're just gonna catch a lip and then just use physics. Do what we need to do. Bet you we can just use, hell yeah, got it. And none of those motions were too much. You know what I mean? It's this motion right here. We'll get as close as we can. Pop up the handle. Okay. All right, just right to there. And we can take a break, you know what I mean? Once we're here, you just spend all day here. Uh, okay, now we're just gonna get it up over that lip. Spend all day right here. And, and then we're just gonna walk the dog in. You know what I mean? Just like they're 50 uh, gallon barrels. We're gonna get a knee on this. Just gotta make sure it's just nice and straight. Cause yeah, we gotta pack this van in. Holy Toledo. And, and it, it's its limit. Like what is a van, uh, if you pack, all those dirt things all the way around. Hey, that, that's about its limit. Uh, hopefully we don't have to uh, double stack them. But yeah, slow and steady wins the race. You know what I mean? So just uh, a couple steps there. Uh, we're gonna get it into place. Uh, do that. I mean, you just barely have to get it. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I didn't like that motion. But yeah, there you go. I mean, you have to get it enough to where you can uh, use some physics. All right, good. This most of these have handles, so that's a good thing. So in the future, if I have a smaller project, I'll definitely make sure they all have handles. But I'm just gonna get right here. I, I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like that. That one. That one. I did not like. So we're, we're gonna see if uh, I'm definitely gonna get a foot in here. Uh, nice, that walked right in. That looks good. All right, we're gonna get that over there. So yeah, it's going from there to there. That's probably the worst part. And I, I, I don't know if there's any other better way. All right. Hopefully you can see this stuff. Get it right there. We're gonna go forward, catch a lip, and then you're just popping up. Got it, use physics. And uh, so, I mean, I guess what would make more sense, I mean, just any device to get it from here to here. I swear to God, like having a lift, you know what I mean? If this thing turned into a lift, of any sort okay i got it could you imagine if like you had rods like pistons that just went straight up so you still have to balance the damn thing um but then but then like if this just if that whole thing just moves straight up as a rack well yeah yeah then then you could just tip tip it in and tilt it in um so yeah because i do this motion quite a bit and uh man any anything to make it better um I'm just gonna see if like you know what I mean you use it using this motion you know what I mean you know I'm kind of in kneeling so yeah I, I got that this is a really good way to stretch like if I'm doing back stuff but it's just it's just hard to go from here I gotta go up over my knee um but but I, I think I like that better I feel like I didn't have to do a squat. Like squatting right now, like I just need to get stronger. But uh, man, I ain't, I ain't squatting with this much weight. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to mess myself up. Oh, sweet, we can get another one there and just pack that out. So six, another five. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. That that that's the thing. You know what I mean? So. Uh, Man, if you're this deep in this video, yeah, yeah, let's have a little story. You know what I mean? Because today was amazing. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm an I'm a introvert. You know what I mean? I, I don't see a lot of people. So uh, I'm just glad that some of the people I've run into in my past, you know what I mean? Like that was enough. Like if I never see another person ever again, uh, at least I've run into enough people over my lifetime where, where it's just fun to 
it's fun to have those moments where it's just like, hell yeah, it's the reach out. It's the, whoa, it's not who you know. Uh, well, no, 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 it is who you know, you know what I mean? It's definitely not what you know. Uh, I'm testing, no, I'm just joking, that'd be a joke. That'd be a joke for my character. It's not what you know. Uh, okay, shit. All right, I, I don't like this any better. Do you think if I sit here and then lift it, what the hell, and then I have to twist my whole body? So the idea is just like lifting and twisting just sucks. But if I, if I sit right here, I just have to get it onto this lip. And that's not too much twisting. That's just going from here to here. Okay, straight back. Okay, I can dig. Like, that was okay. Uh, uh, I definitely needed another break. Um, yeah, that one just made me think like, wow, could I do that 50 times? And it's like, probably not. All right, but yeah, really work the cat. Walk the dog, whatever they call it. Um, and yeah, get that in there. Okay, but uh, what was the story? Well, like what What if, what if you wanted to watch a documentary about what makes me click and the things that make me click are comedy, mental illness, doing it, back pain, and definitely R1, mother of all rafting. You know what I mean? Um, kayaking might be the papa, Papa John's of rafting, but R1 is seriously the mother of rafting, baby. Um, what did I say? Did I say kayaking was the Papa John's of rafting? Hey, that makes no sense, but uh, kayaking is kayaking. Rafting is rafting. You know what I mean? Going around, going down the river in an inflatable donut is uh, going down the river in an inflatable donut. Uh, is it a sport yet? No. Could I make it a sport? Probably. But, but that's not what we're getting at. But the idea is just like, yeah, what makes you tick? W would you want to hear a story about what makes a person tick? I'm just going to fucking go for it. I hate this crap. Okay, go up. Oh, I, I hate this too. Do a little dance. Get it on there. Man, I hope that wasn't the worst one. But sometimes you just got to be like... Is there an easier way? That was definitely not the easier way. All right, so currently, like in the last couple of months, I love rafting. I love rafting education. You know what I mean? And I love the dichotomy that it seems like I'm a wild child. You know what I mean? Um, but that's, that's the whole story in a nutshell. You know what I mean? Documentary. You're like, what the hell? You live with your parents, why? Two sentences. Because it's safe as, that's it. You know what I mean? That was two, two words. Safe as. My uncle, here's the story in about three sentences. I was just like, hell yeah. I subbed at a school. One of their mottos was be safe. And my uncle's like, what the hell? It should be like, get an education. You know what I mean? Be smarter. And I was like, hell no. You know, be safe. That should have been number one on the list. If you're safe, you're a superhero. I mean, you know what I mean? That's my bumper sticker right now. If you're safe, you're a superhero. Something like that, you know what I mean? And that's my life. You know what I mean? That's, that's why with mental illness, uh, another two sentences. Hell yeah, every day is an extra day. I've already died nine times. I'm already that cat that's just like, hell yeah. W what's next? What's next? But... Why isn't every moment of my day like that? Well, I definitely enjoy safety. And then I definitely enjoy, you know what I mean, doing things that uh, are calculated risks and that are at the same time totally uncalculable. You know what I mean? You do the best you can. And that, that's just life in a nutshell. You know what I mean? When, when you boat class five, yes, you have the skills to boat class five, but you also have the skills to die pretty damn soon in your life. You have the skills to die at 25. You're like, good job. Um, but anyway, but, but we all know that. And, and that's superhero status. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, there's, there's my life as a dichotomy. It's like, a, yeah, play it safe. And, and maybe you can calculate as many risks as you can. But maybe you can just have as much fun as you can at the same time while you're calculating those risks. And, uh, I don't know. So, uh, okay, we're gonna go back to, uh, to this one. We're just gonna lift up, up and on, take a break. All right. 
that's not my, my favorite way to do it none of these are it's a little bit too much on the back but nothing's popping oh this one's gonna be a tough one to walk the dog into but there you go we, we have just enough room to get that last one in oh man and then any good documentary it is like having this having the b-roll footage b-roll footage of a documentary that's a roll material you know what i mean that, that's where the gold happens all my best comedy in the last couple days was like three hours into doing some of this work when you're just like yep uh i'm loose as a goose and here's a little story um yeah so uh i'm just gonna keep on keeping on um and I dig this. Yeah, like what's any story? You know what I mean? All right, a little tangent, same subject. My cousin, he's gonna teach a class on uh, storytelling. He's an amazing actor. Uh, went, to, went to college for that type of stuff. I mean, just amazing, he went, he went to Europe to uh, get his phd uh in, in college for acting it was amazing or whatever you know what i mean it, it was next level stuff is amazing but anyway even in just this local small town up against some mountains down by some rivers he's going to be teaching storytelling you know what i mean not how to tell a story it's more than that it's just those two words storytelling you know what i mean makes you makes you makes you sit down cross your legs you know what i mean make sure you went to the bathroom about 10 minutes ago because you're in for a treat all right all right this is going pretty good this is going pretty good you know what i mean and now we're, we're just going halfway baby or maybe i should go over there but we can always drive the car around if we need to uh, just make sure we got some bb life we got 26 percent yeah that's the other aspect about gopro and yeah you know at the 40 percent battery mark man you just want to replace it and say thank you gopro uh you know what i mean i got it from here um but yeah yeah on a hot sunny day yeah, you can milk these things. If I was on a river trip right now, man, one cold splash to that battery, that battery would be like, uh, you know what I mean? It would be like three, two, one, you know, with the little cartoon fingers. It's Dundee. Uh, so yeah, 40% mark. Get ready, definitely, that, that, that's, that's, it's on E. It's past the E, change your battery. Uh, yeah, yeah, so if you're on a river trip and it's like past 50%, well, catch an eddy, change that battery. Uh, cause you don't want to miss any good footage, especially on a cold day. Hey, I was, I was satisfied with that one, but yeah, the only thing hard is lifting these things in and I got to get a better method. That method just, I don't like it. And all I have to do is get it from there to there. Even a, even a little ramp, you know what I mean? If I had a little ramp, you just ramp it up and then, and then where would this be? This would be just right there why don't i do that right now like why don't i have enough pieces of wood to get a ramp i do we're gonna do that right now there's just there's no reason to to josh around you know what i mean uh i don't think anyone says that uh Silence is the best remedy for embarrassment. Someone said that once. When they weren't embarrassed, that's for sure. Holy Toledo. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's find a better system. All we need is a couple boards. I swear to God, like we're just on a construction site. There should be some boards over there. But I, I for sure know where some boards are. Okay, no one's behind no one's to the right no one's to the left ho 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 you know and if you're worried about hitting something do austin powers do this about three or four times you know go backwards until you can just see make sure there's no curb in front of you you don't want to pull a 
pull a grocery store. You know what I mean? What happened to your van? Ah, uh, a grocery store. You know what I mean? That's what happened. Uh, it's not bad drivers, but it's just, you know, they're driving slow enough where it's just like, yeah, you're probably pretty safe out there, but you know what I mean? The grocery store is their nemesis. You know what I mean? The, the 10 and two Sunday driver, you're like, why is your van just beat to shit? Like, don't you drive? I, I've seen you drive. You drive slow and safe, but it's the grocery store uh, that's the culprit. You know what I mean? It's not their fault. It, it's just the grocery store. Man, that parking lot is just going to get them. All right. Uh, we're just going to pull in here. I mean, you can always back up. Like, sometimes backing in is the hard. In this driveway, pulling in forward is the easiest. And uh, we're, we're going to get some wood ola. That's the one benefit of wood. It's light. You know, you could get steel, but steel will just be way heavy. Um, man, this any of this wood is just at our disposal. Look at that. I think these two pieces... Oh, one's perfect length and the other's too short. Damn it. Um, but, 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 uh... Okay... Oh, ooh, ooh. so th these look pretty good. I think these two pieces, uh, final answer. H how do I get them off the ground? So we're going to take a knee, go as high as possible. There we go. And uh, like I said, I should open the van door, but that's all right. And man, 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 I, I, I gotta, I gotta move those grabbers before they just get destroyed. But yeah, I can put, I can put an eight foot, uh, I can put a four by eight sheet of plywood in this Dodge Caravan. That, that should be their number one ad for men. And then I can slide a 10 foot. I think, I think, so if this eight foot here, for sure, I can slide a nine foot six to there, but I can slide, if it's thin, if it's only like one inch bar, I, I can slide a 10 footer right through there. So the steel yard, everything comes in 20 feet and I just have them chop it in half, throw it in my van and, uh, you know what I mean? All the scruffies are like, whoa, who are you? And it's just like, well, I was gonna double down on something that I'm not gonna double down on. No, you're just not supposed to label yourself as like bipolar, but maybe I do that as a joke. It's just like, who are you? You're like, I'm bipolar, mother mama. Man, that's not, I, I need to find better words for swearing. You know what I mean? Um. Papa John's. Papa John's is a pretty good one. You know what I mean? Any, anytime you're about ready... Damn it, we just have like so much traffic on the street because of that construction. But anytime you're ready to say the MF word, you know what I mean? Mother, you know what? Uh, just say Papa John's. You know what I mean? Be like, hell yeah, Papa John's. I don't know, because, uh, you know, you can't say Bill Cosby for goddamn anything because uh, his name is just a trash sandwich. Um, but, uh, you know, Papa John's... You know, we all know who we're talking about. We're talking about the owner. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, freedom of speech, I guess. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why swearing, freedom of speech. That's why you're trying to reduce your swear words. You know what I mean? You know, it's just like, yeah, because we live in an area. Ooh, this, this is a touchy one. Oh, damn it. Anytime you're just like, can you take this joke? You're just like, no, no one can. But it's just, it's fun to come up with play on words. You know what I mean? You're just like, what's a mother? Well, that's the word that comes before fucker. You know what I mean? That's a pretty funny ass joke if you tell it uh, in the right place at the right time. Now, is this video the right place at the right time? No, hell no. You just disliked and, and you're just like, I, I can't take no more. Can I cancel you? Uh, no, but uh, in a documentation format, if you're writing jokes, you know what I mean. You, you, you try to come up with any sort of uh, any sort of way to make, you know, something creative. Now that's a creative one. Now will I ever use that? Probably never. You know what I mean? Uh, but that starts the process of like, yeah, it's really easy to maybe create, make something creative on the the raunchy spectrum. You know what I mean? Uh, sex sells for for jokes. 
and uh, anything, anything, drugs and McDonald's hamburgers, um, sex does sell. Um, but if you want to come up with a good hamburger, I, I don't know. You, you got to five, you got to five guys it. You know what I mean? You, you got to do something more creative. Um, you know what I mean? Something more wholesome. Something you can take your whole family to. And uh, and I'm up to the challenge. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So hopefully, I, I swear to God, I'm just gonna, you know, do do a test run. Yeah, because that's gonna happen. Uh, and the other thing that's gonna happen is, you know, wood looks strong until it's just like, nope. Uh, you ain't gonna put anything on me ever. I'm just gonna break in two. So yeah, once I get 50 pounds on here, uh, whoa, whoa, see, it's real loose. So uh, this one barely works. Uh, all right, let's let's do it. All right, so now now we're now we got a process down where uh, let's stomp it down because we're gonna we're gonna do a ramp and we're gonna do an angle. Uh, I do have lids for those, but that's just one more step. All right, use some physics. All right, get get the heavier side on that side because that wood on the left is just real weak. All right, gotta get a little bit of speed. Ah, damn it. Whoa, so I, I don't really like that. And the second I take that weight off, that whole thing is just gonna slide the other direction. So I don't know. Like, is this a win? Like, see, see how this is a. Uh, uh, once I shift this off, you know, what I mean, where's this gonna go? Well, it's gonna go down. So yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yes. Okay. So I think we got a good method, but we just need a better ramp. That ramp is uh, horrid. But I'm at the point where it's gonna save my back just enough. And, uh, but get this, this ramp is just totally uphill. We're doing, we're doing it all wrong. So, we're gonna get the ramp to the other side. And uh, we're, we'll just do it easy as possible. There you go, just slide it, slide it that way. All right, we're, we're gonna put the, the strong side on the downhill side so if it does spill it'll spill uphill all right we're, we're looking good and if we're smart we can actually just put something under there to uh, beefen it up um is there anything i could put under there i don't know i i don't think so I don't see anything that I could just easily put under there. All right, let's just keep keep going. Whoa! So we I totally forgot we were even recording. But yeah, we only got seven seven percent battery life. What I forgot was that the battery was so low. You know, what I mean? we're we're just we're definitely on E now. Um. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! That sucked. But that's all right. These are two. These are too full anyway. They are just, well, 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 well. We don't have any extra buckets and, and we need to take them all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this mess up. Um, there you go. All right, looking good, looking good. And we're, we're taking, we're taking like pounds of this stuff. We're taking 2,000 pounds of dirt out of a parking lot. It is quite crazy. Whoa. All right, just like that. Okay, we're, we gotta stomp that down. I don't know what happened. All right, use some physics. I think I think it needs to be on that left side. I for probably not. Yep, left side it is. All right, we'll get this one in and then switch batteries. Oh hell yeah! And then then we'll just shake it, shake and bake it off right here. Okay, I can even get another one. 
and uh, hell yeah, 4% juice. Let's do one more before our battery dies. Can we do it? I don't think we can, so let's just do this one just right here. Use some physics. Whoa. And can I shake it out? Can I Taylor Swift it into the van? Whoa, gotta wear a helmet, man, doing anything. Holy Toledo. Yeah, that's... that's. All right, all right, we probably, you're, you're probably not watching anything right now. My battery probably already died. But uh, if it didn't die, uh, we'll get this one. Now we're gonna go all the way over here because I think we're final answer on where the van's gonna be. We can use the dolly and physics to uh, get them all in here. I'm just so glad I did that ramp. And uh, hell yeah, 3% battery life. You know what I mean? Uh, let's, I'll catch you on the flip side. All right, hell yeah, what an amazing day. We're getting some vitamin D and we're cleaning up the parking lot. So, uh, all right, let's do it. Oh, ho, ho. see, it needs to go to the other side. It needs to go to the other side. There we go, there we go. All right. Oh, that one went just amazing. All right, we probably do like three. All right, I'm digging this. We'll be done in no time. And I don't have to lift them at all. We're just totally using physics. All right, and I got the whole process down. You know what I mean? Man, these are, these, these are dense because I'm just squishing them down so they don't uh, spill everywhere. All right, catch a lip. Now I gotta get it to the other side. So I need to come over here. It's like Plinko. Ugh, damn it. Okay. Uh, oh, it's like totally stuck. There we go. All right, and this ramp is just strong enough. And, woo. Okay, gonna slide that out. Ho, 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 ramp don't work no more. But how, how do you make a ramp stronger? It's real easy, you know what I mean? Uh, Cause this is just a bridge. Stand in the middle, that's the weakest part. So you just put another something right in the middle. And then you just strengthened it by two. Uh, and you did, the physics, it seems like, oh, didn't I strengthen it by four? No, you just doubled the strength, but hey, that's impressive. I bet you don't believe me that if you put a support halfway in a bridge, you only double the strength. I bet you think you'll like three or four it. You know what I mean? It's a squared, but it's not. It's actually the, the, the length is, uh, what do they call that? Not squared, linear. It's a linear uh, comparison, uh, comparisono. Uh, oh, 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 Plinko. All right, hell yeah. Woof. It's all right if we spill a little bit. Oh, ho, 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 I needed to move those other ones. So now we're just, now we're just a little discombobulated. Uh, we're gonna walk the dog right there. Gonna slide it off slowly. Get this ramp back down to the ground. We gotta go to the other side of that van and get these puppies in. All right, but that's gonna live there. All right, and again, well, let's walk the dog. Let's walk the dog. You know what I mean? Just roll them over. You mean just roll them right into place. But I still need to get in this side. So uh, 
now we'll just go here and then we're gonna be done with right here I mean, maybe we can get another one in I, I don't think so I bet you we can get another one right there but that'll be it but how we're doing I think we only have like oh no we got plenty more we got quite a few more all right pack it down use a little physics o law you just got to catch a lip just got to catch a lip but we, we got to plinko it into place um, I, I don't know. We just need it down there. There you go. So the Plinko part don't work on this, but maybe I'll throw a little wax. You won't want to do that either. All right, can I do this fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes faster, smoother. You know, sometimes slower, smoother. Sometimes slower, faster. Sometimes faster, slower. No one wants to read a bumper sticker that long, you know what I mean? Uh, but that's a good, that's a good adage. Whoa, we could have probably put more into that one. It's amazing we came through here already once, cleaned the whole parking lot, and there's still just another 50 pounds, 1,000 pounds of a... Uh, okay, this one I think is a little bit lighter. But yeah, we're going to go up the ramp on the... Oh, I guess it don't matter. It don't matter at all. All right, get it in there. Oh, hell yeah. Let's look at that. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad I saw that. I'm glad you did too. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Pack it down, pack it down. Yeah, get it right in that corner. Heck yeah, heck yeah. All right, we're doing good. Got some vitamin D. Man. Uh, I'm gonna take off my shirt just for a second. Gotta get some, gotta get some of this good vitamin D. Hell yeah. No reason not to get vitamin D when you just got pain all over. You need as much sun as you can get. Uh -oh, I guess we're not plinko in this one. Who cares? But yeah, you got to get it over there. There you go. Oh, we totally forgot to move any of these. Uh, I think this one's going to fall out. Oh, darn it. That's okay. But th this bridge needs to get pushed in just a little bit. There we go. Wow, home stretch, baby. Right there. Yeah, just walk the dog, walk the dog. Heck yeah, we can, get, we can get two in here. We can get two. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Yeah, well, let's take our time. I, if you think you can do it, you probably can't. You know what I mean? You're like, hell yeah, I can do that. I can flip a, a little water bottle and make it stand on the end. Yeah, it'll take you a thousand times before you get it once. All right, we're done. Just knee right here. Uh, we could always move those over.
Let's get this one. Let's get this one right on the end. Right, just take your time to do things right we're gonna come in over here and uh yeah we're just gonna walk the dog and how many more do we have man we only have like two more but i'm just gonna slide these in just a little farther all right home stretch baby we have like three i see three there might be four Hell yeah, this is a special moment. This is the last one, and it's gonna go in real terrible because uh, there's no room for it. But we'll try to just go fast, go sleek, make room. Papa John's it out. Hell yeah, Papa John's. See how, see how that's just our new swear word? And it makes no sense. It only makes sense to me and people that watch, you know, three hours of, of someone doing yard work. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're done. We're we're, damn it okay we're gonna do these two at a time get it got it throw it in get the blower in yeah we've done plenty of work today plenty of work but if we're driving to the cabin we we got to make sure um we we have all the tools to do more work uh so we're, we're gonna take we're just basically gonna take everything we're gonna take this because obviously we need some way to to, to get all these piles of sand where we want them to go. Um, ah, shoot. I guess I'm gonna call this one good, but uh, we, we, we can just tie a, a, a quick release. We'll fill it up again. Uh, this one's not, this one's not done yet. So we'll just go here, tie a little bow. 
Now, if you work for a ski area and they say, hey, go take the trash out, do not tie a little bow because your boss will take this to the dump and then he'll grab these and then he's just like, who the hell is tying these in a little bow? Like they're a, like they're a birthday present. Because when I go to grab it and I wing it over my head, well, all the garbage falls out on top of me like a cartoon character. And I was just like, ho ho, that was me. You know what I mean? Because I'm proud uh, of uh, doing every mistake at least once. And I was like, hell yeah. I, I knew, I knew, yeah, if there's a mistake that was done, well, it was probably me. And, uh, but I only, I tried to just do them once, you know what I mean? But if you do every mistake once, well, shoot, you can make a whole lot of mistakes in life. Well, you can make a whole lot of little mistakes, just don't make the big ones. But I was just like, whoa, yeah, I was thought, I thought I was being, uh, I don't know. But I, that was the day I learned that, you know what I mean? If a trash can is done, you know what I mean? If you're going to, uh, tie a knot on a trash bag, man, we're talking overhand grannies. You know what I mean? The knot that never comes out. Uh, because then when your, when your boss goes to do this with your trash can, uh, excuse me, trash bag, it don't fall on his head like a cartoon character. But man, you know, hopefully the trash just fell out at his feet. But I think we all know he, he went to go wing one above his head and it just, just all fell out. And, uh, and obviously he was a boss that would not like that. Uh, I'd be a boss that would be like, shoot, I, 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 got, I, got, I got three more weeks of uh, therapy to get over that one, having garbage spill on me because a coworker tied a, tied a garbage bag like it was a birthday present. You know what I mean? That, that would drive me crazy too. All right, so we're gonna grab that. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab this. We don't need to grab the other one. There's plenty of buckets out there. But I'm just gonna put this one in here for now. There we go. Uh, but here's our garbage bags. We're gonna leave that one there. Hopefully just don't blow to wherever things blow to. But we'll, we'll throw this in here too. And in about, in about uh, two hours, that thing will just be full of trash, you know what I mean? And then I'll have to go do, do something with it. All right, but we did good today. We're even getting some vitamin. This is, the, this is the second day this summer that you could get vitamin D. You know what I mean? That sun hasn't been out for... This is the second time. It's not summer, but it's spring. It's, it's pretty close to summer. If it's the first day of summer, that, that means summer's over. You know what I mean? So uh, that's what the first day of summer means. The first day of summer is actually the first day of depression because you're just like, man... The days are getting shorter. Um, but yeah, up here in the mountain states, we like summer right away. And we did not get it this year. Okay, bag's right there. Uh, I think we're, I think we're, we gotta take one little walk around, make sure we didn't forget nothing. And it looks like we didn't forget nothing. We even checked the air pressure on the tires. You know what I mean? Check the blinker fluid. Uh, you know what I mean? See, see what type of year is this? Do I have a gas cap on? Yeah, this is a pretty good year. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. You know, if you still have a gas cap on your car, you can't claim that the apocalypse is here. You know what I mean? Because in the the definition of the apocalypse is like when you're driving around, you're like, dude, have you... Uh, I don't have... It's just like the person with a gas cap on their car, you're like, whoa, where'd you find one of those? I mean, that's literally when you know you're in the apocalypse. Oh, do we, we got Austin Powers, this stuff. We, we, we haven't been looking around. We have no idea where we are. And uh, just do this about four or five times. All right, get up where you can see. And uh, hell yeah. All right, but I think we got enough uh, Batterola to uh, get to the cabin. And uh, I'm gonna take these, uh, you know I me. Mean? I guess I was listening to music with some uh, headphones, you know what I mean? Traditional, you know, strangle strangle you around the neck, old school headphones. Uh, no beats by, no beats by David, you know what I mean? H haven't seen any of those. And I, I don't like putting a big old chunked earplug just to get some music. Now, I swear, I just go home, just, just roll fast, because you're just famished. It's 1.40, and you ain't coming back till dinner time. 
and you got one water bottle and that's not enough um holy cow put on your shirt so people don't think you're just absolutely the coolest guy in the neighborhood um yep yeah, you know what i mean you, you, you can't win all the prizes at the neighborhood potluck dinner you know what i mean you can't go for sexiest craziest most talkative when they're outside most most outside all the time um you know what i mean you want to get outside enough that it uh, entices other people to get outside in the summertime we can turn our car off we don't need to have it running All right, I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. All right, here we go. So uh, we, we got a little bit of orange juice and uh, oh, I'm glad I made this video cause I should be holding like five bananas in my hands. Uh, we're gonna get a little gasoline. We're not gonna take the chainsaw. That's too much today. You know what I mean? Uh, one step at a time. Don't wanna do anything too dangerous. And uh, where the, where's those bananas? Um, Man, I just had them. There we go. So yeah, in a pinch, we got enough food. And, uh, oh, 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 I might grab some of these protein bars. Uh, catch you on the flip side. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so this is a true bar. This is a uh-oh cookie dough. Uh, hell yeah and this thing's covered in chocolate you know what i mean it's like 200 it's 200 calories holy toledo so uh yeah we'll be we'll be set all right we got to crank the ac we're going to take the safest way to uh, we're not going to safeway we just want to take the safest way to the cabin and uh eh, you know i don't know if we got enough juice but you know we only got i think we only have like how many more batteries do we have we got two more batteries uh we got some oj Hell yeah. Brought our tunes. Here's the spent batteries for the day. Here, here's our, we gotta get some hydration. All right, and we gotta figure out how to actually get out of town. Man, there's so much construction up there. It's just a little bit of a nightmare. You know, it just makes, it makes us all late. I bet you, I bet you 12 people have already gotten fired. You know what I mean? Because if, you, if you're already a person who's uh shows up late well this construction is going on for the next two months this is a major artery you know what i mean and it don't look like much but in in helena montana th this is our highway this is a this is 11th street you know what i mean this is a super highway for us and uh it ain't gonna be done for like two months so uh 10 people have already lost their jobs because uh yeah when you're already 10 minutes late for work, you can't be 20, and that thing makes you 20 minutes late. You know what I mean? You gotta find another route, uh, and it's crazy. Uh, whoa, 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 we'll see if this uh, biker, oh, so nice, you know what I mean? Bikers are so nice because they don't want to get run over. When I'm a biker out there, I'm trying to do a little more biking. It's just like, yeah, you're just like, why am I slowing down for you, Mr. Carola? Is because I don't want to die today, and you can have all the right in the world, you know what I mean? uh we'll, we'll see where this this car is going but uh yeah they, they can have it yeah we're just chilling like a villain we got a semi coming at us uh it's all right in a construction zone to just go if there's no one on your tail yeah you know what i mean people don't mind you driving slow as long as it helps them out you know, like right now, I better go a little faster because I'm in this guy's way. You know what I mean? And maybe he noticed that, and maybe he didn't. You know what I mean? But if I if I went a little bit slower, purposefully slow, hell yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's where we're gonna be like, did I pack? Did I pack heat today? You know what I mean? Is is today one of those days? You know what I mean? Because this slow driver's in front of me. You know they're they're not gonna, you know they're not gonna raise their their nine on you. But uh, you know what I mean? Eh. 
they're just like wow i thank god for my for my second amendment anyway so we live in that world we live in that world where you know what i mean you might have your own idea of what your ideal is but uh yeah 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 that, that's why i guess i just i put it on a costume you know what i mean uh sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta be a a sheep in wolf's clothing you know what i mean it's 2023 you know what i mean uh that's what i'm going for i'm, I'm a sheep in wolf's clothing i, I want to run with the wolves baby uh nothing wrong with that uh, but i want to do it at a slow pace at a like i'm 80 years old i'm not, and i'm driving a minivan and that's wild if you're 80 years old and you're driving anything that's more than uh, three feet off the ground holy toledo yeah that's wild baby all right so uh, this is the safest way out of town i mean literally if i just stay in this left lane the whole way i'm just good to go you know what i mean keep up with traffic when you need to keep up with traffic um you know what i mean always look to your right just at least once you know you got a little puppy i can't tell who's over there but you, you never know when you're gonna get a little freeway romance you know what i mean so always you got to be careful you know what i mean you look over you might get some uh you might get some politics going on you know what i mean your view don't look like it matches their view but uh always be looking for that freeway romance you know what i mean even if it's just like a nod of the head uh-huh uh-huh you know what i mean just uh-huh yeah we, we all we all know yeah so i'll always be on the lookout you know at least look to the right like you're you're just like scratching you know you're like oh yeah i got my chin right on my shoulder because there's an itch right here uh you never know it might be freeway romance you know what i mean else if you don't look to your right you're just gonna assume you know what i mean there's just someone you're gonna be just thinking hitler you know uh you know found doc brown and came back uh i i don't know you're just gonna think it's politics right next to you so you at least wanna make sure you're not delusional and on the plus side you might get a little freeway romance you know what I mean? even if it's just a little head nod all right yeah we just stay in this lane the whole way it's amazing check check my check my mirror behind we got no one in front of me but you always just got to be watching it there are gonna be just people speeding in left and right but even for right now for, for like three blocks you can't turn left or right you know what i mean we got a van on our right maybe they want to pop in sure pop in pop in plenty of room but yeah these lights are always green you know what i mean you can just go so slow through here as long as you're not just messing with people but yeah well, we're just we're just chilling baby this light is never red you just have this light green for for all year like that motorcyclist he just lives there um we, we just have to feed him food oh no no he's moving today okay that's cool uh, i saw him there yesterday same spot but yeah yeah that that is you know what i mean he was he wanted to go straight but that light never turns anyway yeah this is like so I always make fun of the traffic in Helena because it's so bad, but like on the way out of town, this is just this is just perfect. I haven't done a damn thing. You know what I mean? Hey, it looks like this transit wants to get in, so we'll, we'll just speed up just a little bit, see if he does, see if he does. He didn't, so now we can just slow down to a, a dead stop. You know what I mean? Because, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you, gotta, you gotta slow down the traffic behind. They, they don't know it's crazy. All they see is a green light in the distance and we're dead stop for another like five seconds all right baby here we go here we go hey let's listen to some music maybe see what we got on the tunes nothing nothing oh i guess the volume was just down the music was already on so whatever song was pumping was pumping we just couldn't hear it oh hell yeah All right, this is where you just like get into it's not t-bone city what is it just like fender bender city you know we just got red lights it's all right to slow down traffic they appreciate it they just don't want to get jerked back and forth but once you know you're not going to get run over you know what i mean find your spot find your spot and slow down just find your spot and come to a stop 
All right, all right. Hell yeah. It's like it's like driver's education for the real world. You know what I mean? Like, you know, what actually happened? Everyone should take driver's education every decade to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not you're not 17 no more. You know what I mean? You're, you, you hate the world. You know what I mean? You're 37. You've had 20 years of driving, and now you just hate the world, so you need to take a driver's education again because you're homicidal. You know what I mean? So, uh... As a 17-year-old, yeah. I mean, I, I was like, how, how can you drive with not just, like, pissing off everyone? How, how do you do that? And uh, I, I don't know. I still, that, that's a conundrum. Like, how does a 17-year-old, you know what I mean, just function just fine, and, and at, at 37, yeah, I'm 39 or whatever, you know what I mean, how can I not just think it's just warfare out there? Like, it's just, it's just samurai sword. We're just driving around samurai swords. Holy Toledo. But yeah, that's why you need this driver's education. You'd be like, how to stay out of people's way. You know what I mean? And maybe get a little freeway romance out of it. You know what I mean? You gotta uh, scratch this shoulder. Scratch this shoulder with your chin. I don't got anyone over there right now. We're just staring at some mountains. Uh, it looks like August. You know what I mean? We got, we got two seasons here. Well, it's like green for two days, and then it's August. You know, it just looks like August. But this is the greenest it's going to get, so... Uh, no, 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 no. That's not true. Our winter was so devastating. Like, the snow just melted last week. That's why everything's still uh, yellow. Because it hasn't had any chlorophyll. It hasn't seen the sun. This is the second day we've seen the sun. And, uh, thank God. Uh, because... All right, I, I need to do that commercial. I, I, I put that stuff on my knee. I put a little medication on my knee, and I haven't even talked about my knee at all. So actually, that, that, that worked pretty good. So I'm pretty satisfied with the knee. The back, from yesterday to today, that was too much work. Uh, my back feels like, hey, slow it down, slow it down. All right, so back, back, back in, done with commercial. But at some point, I need to show my knee and give that whole spiel again, because uh, people want to know, hey, I put that stuff on my knee. You know what I mean? Do I feel my knee? Now, I'm in the fast lane, but literally, there's no one behind me. People, get, I, I, There's someone passing on the right. That's fine. Um, but uh, pretty much, we, we, better, we better gun it. We, we got to go from 47 to 55, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This happens a lot. You know what I mean? There's only two places where you turn left, and that's fine. No one behind. It's all right. Now we can just burn one, burn one to the ground. Show them what this van's got. We don't want to get a speeding ticket, but we also want to keep up. You know what I mean? We're going 59 and a 55, and that 55 says like, hey, go 55, else you're gonna get the red and, uh, you know, blue and red. You know, you know, red, white, and blued. You know what I mean? Yeah, red, white, and screwed. You know what I mean? Uh, you're gonna get a ticket from a police officer if you drive more than 55 of them. That's what that sign says. It says Maximole. Uh, oh man, I was trying to say something interesting, but yeah, it says maximum speed limit 55 See and then you can just put a little pressure on this this guy pulled in now We can go 59 see if he goes 60 now. It's all right to put a little pressure on people. You know what I mean? Uh, but there's like literally no one behind me so I'm safe for days This is amazing. This is like I just like I said stay in this lane and we got a red light That means all the traffic's coming. We might get t-boned. So now we can just we really want to slow down you know, slow down that traffic behind. This light ain't turning for like, for three years. And so uh, we're just gonna slow, slowly does it. It ain't turning for another 20 seconds. You know what I mean? And this traffic behind just wants to go 60 miles an hour. But we gotta slow that traffic down because we don't wanna be a crunched sandwich. Uh, I don't wanna feel what an accordion feels like. No one does. All right. All right, and let's motor cities. Even Frontline Glass, hell yeah, it's going faster than uh, Frontier Pro 4X. You know what I mean? That What does that 4X stand for? Going slow? I don't know, I was just gonna make a dumb joke. Anyway, but yeah, yeah. All right, this is the corner of hell. This is where all hell breaks loose in Helena. It is the death corner, you know what I mean? But it's, if it's a roller coaster ride, you'd be like, hell, this is the funnest part of my day. You know what I mean? I want to put both hands in the air like I just don't care. Uh, but you need 10 and 2 around this corner as you're going to die. And you will. Look at it. Like all the cement is just like totally. You go left or right, you're just like three feet down on that different colored cement. There's nothing that's going to throw your car for a loop more than an uneven grade. Yeah, th th this whole bridge is just devastating. And especially when they don't paint the line right where like the, 
the uneven grade is that's crazy you know what i mean you're just like like right here it's just like you can't get too close to that that yellow because you're you already just drop down into a crevasse all, all right and we're doing good uh that traffic behind is pretty slow we got a 45 this is where the cops make their money we're in a different town we're in a different town that only has a small number of people so to uh to make up for uh, the income you know what i mean red white and blued red white and screwed y you get pulled over by the cops now uh all right all right so we can go more than 46 though you know what i mean you go you go somewhere we're not going to get pulled over you know we can go 49 and uh yeah i mean if everyone's going 50 hell yeah let's go 50 and i love this car because we have a little it tells you how fast you're going you know it's just a little number i will never buy a car that don't have that number there i'm addicted to it and that's all i do is just drive to that number and you know on the freeway hell yeah it's set at 69 hell yeah uh damn damn we got some we got some people that want to go fast we're going 51 and a 45 but everyone is so we're just we're staying alive you know what i mean keep up keep up I love it. You know, no one's getting pulled over, so you might as well just enjoy life. If we're all driving six six over the speed limit, you know, when, when school's out. Now, what time is it? Yeah, yeah, it's two o'clock. No, we're just fine. Um, all right, all right. Time, time to floor it, though. Make sure this intersection ain't crazy. Take our time. All right, front line glass better to just, you know, put the pedal to the metal. But it's got a ton of traffic. And uh, it's just a big truck. We couldn't see like three cars in front of Frontline Glass, so uh, we we didn't know why why they're driving slow now. Like, why would you just want to drive fast now? You're driving slow. All right, sweet. So now we can just buzz Ola. We want we want a little diff distance. You know what I mean? Get some distance. Stay a little safer. So now we're going 61 uh, in a 55. Uh, you know, we're just keep we're just making sure we got some distance. You know, driving faster is safer. You know what I mean? Cause, Cause, now we're gonna make this left-hand turn, and it's just gonna be a, uh, just gonna be soft. You know what I mean? We can just take our time. And hell yeah, this is the most dangerous part of this whole drive. You, you got, you, you got fast people coming on our right, and you got to make this before you die. But once you make this corner, man, live like. This is such an easy way. This is, this is the easiest way I've found to get out to the cabin. It probably adds like three more miles. It probably adds like three more minutes. But it's just so peaceful. And even this, this is only a 35 mile an hour street. Uh, but it turns to 45. And uh, and that's the max speed. So we, we just chill getting out of town. And there's no one behind me. I could read a book right now. You know what I mean? It is perfect. I wish I had that AI car that was just like, hell yeah, I got this. I got this. Oh, whoops. Uh... Oh, there we go. All right, so school zone. But this one's just like, yeah. If you see, if you, if it looks like you're running over a kid, don't run over the kid. That's what that sign says. You know, you don't have to s slow down if there's nothing to run over. So uh, it's a weird one. I don't like it. I just rather, you know, if it's a school zone, just everyone should just slow down. I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, uh, but anyway. We got we got some people behind, so we can uh, don't want to go too fast. It's only 35 right now. We're going 41. You ain't getting pulled over for six over because it's crazy. It's like a this is like a highway right here. You know what I mean? No way a cop's gonna hide behind that sign and be like, oh oh oh, you're going six over because it, it you know it changes right here to 45 and, and now we're just crushing it. Um, 
but yeah not not too much behind so i love it we are just like hell yeah we're just like the only ones out here it's just nice to to drive drive like a loner you know what i mean you just like yeah yeah all right yeah it's peaceful country out here we got farmland to our right and a gravel pit to our left got a car behind we need, we need to we need to speed up you know what i mean there, there are no cops right here if you can't see cops there's no cops i mean we could go 70 miles an hour right now if we really wanted to but we just want to we just want to get right up by this van you know what i mean keep our distance uh, maximize that space maximize our freedom on the roadway we're gonna let this green car go and uh i think that's part of a joke you know what i mean like uh well, no, no, that, that's the escargo joke. I think that's like the red car. Anyway, okay, uh, mine's just going in circles. All right, all right. Put the traction, engage the gear, and uh, hell yeah. 45, and now we're just gonna set the speed to 47, and no one's behind us. This one's a little bit more narrow, you know what I mean? If you got a farm truck up ahead with the trailer like that one, gotta give some space. You know, else they'll just go crazy. You know, they'll take their lane and more. You know what I mean? Uh, there you go. What you hauling? Hell yeah, little, little, little dingo. Little excavator. All right. Hell yeah, see, it is. Ah, oh, got a good song too. See, we got a car behind and we're going 46. I hope they just pass, you know. I don't mind if people do like things illegally, but man, you know what I mean? This shouldn't be solid. It, it makes it a dangerous roadway, you know what I mean? You, you gotta get you gotta get the people that wanna pass to pass. You know what I mean? They wanna go 55 miles an hour right now, but maybe I'm just, you know what I mean? I am the speed trap. I'm almost keeping uh, the, the traffic going the right speed. It's 45 miles an hour, I'm going 49, 48. And this is a big deal. We got somebody behind, you know, we haven't pissed off anyone the whole time, but you know what I mean? This person behind is just like, shoot, you know what I mean? It's just like straight up hatred, you know what I mean? But no, nah, they're, they're backing off. They're actually doing pretty good. Um, but we'll, we'll see if they're going our direction or what. Um, yeah, but we won't dilly dally around this roundabout. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just make our way. See where they're going. Are they going our way? Hope not. That looks like they're going our way. So yeah, they can pass up ahead. That's fine. I ain't speeding up this hill. This hill's steep.
might pull out you know what i mean let them do what they want to do there you go uh they're pulling out but uh see now i slowed down but they didn't pull out so uh i'm, I'm going over here because i don't want them to think that i'm making that corner you know what i mean i don't care if they do you know what i mean if you want to do if you want to you do you go do it but uh um yeah the worst scenario is if i slow down and they they do like they're second guessing and they're thinking i'm gonna turn that's crazy you know what I mean? T-Bone City is what I want to avoid. All right, 55, and it gets real dangerous through here. We're just gonna go 57, cause uh, uh, this car is still behind me, chomping at the bit. Um, we're going 58. Got some motorcycles up ahead. Just make sure everyone's got uh, some some pavement. And we, we don't want to go too far to the right because we don't want to kick up rocks. That would suck for the motorcyclists. You know what I mean? Don't be a dick out there. Uh, and life will treat you square. See, and right here, people just kind of want to go faster. You're, you're, I, I don't know. We're kind of going up a hill, but I swear to God, you, everyone wants to go 60 around this corner. It's an optical illusion. Uh, but if you set the, you know, I mean, if you set cruise control to 56, you know, what I mean, it, it sets the pace for you. But yeah, yeah. For whatever reason, this is where the cars are just like, let's let's pump it out. And there's a lot of blind driveways. You know, what I mean, uh, kids are at play. Uh, this is neighborhood, you know what I mean? People live out by the lake, and uh, yeah. All right, so we'll smell a little smoke. Uh, we're catching up to these trucks. Some of them might want to turn at some point. And uh, that one in front of us, man, they got they got a strap going, but you know, something might fall off. So we want to keep an eye on that. And yeah, that car behind us, yeah, they live out here, you know what I mean? So uh, that was nice that they weren't just totally riding us like a eight second ride at the bar um but anyway so yeah appreciate that but yeah they definitely wanted to pass but if they passed me they'd just be in front of me in that truck and then what and then what you know what i mean uh and yeah there were some walkers out here so uh this is a neighborhood e even though it's lakeside people even though it's richie's uh you know what i mean still deserve whatever they deserve okay let's do this All right, yeah, there's no one behind us. Finally, I can just relax. But it's good to like keep keep focused. You know what I mean? Uh, I'd spend my life driving five miles an hour under the speed limit. You know what I mean? It's super safe. You just kind of go into uh, autopilot. Uh, this corner's kind of crazy as hell. You want people speeding around into your lane. So uh, keep an eye out for this corner. That's for sure. You can't see nothing. Um, a lot can go on. You got a parking lot over there. You got a spectacular view and uh yeah look at this it's a it's a river that has a dam just around the corner you know what i mean a couple miles around that corner there's a uh, there's a dam yep
Oh, ho, ho, semis. And it's fucking narrow through here. I'll swear just to keep myself alive. God damn, that guardrail just sticks out. That's like the worst place to pass. Worst place for two cars to go by. I've known about that spot, and that's a big old semi. And if that semi wants more room, well, it gets it. And I'm gonna be a guardrail sandwich. All right, so uh, I'm glad, uh, I, I don't know if I did, I did what I could there, you know what I mean? Kept it in the lane, kept it, uh, kept it alive. Um, all right, no scratches. Uh, let's see, how much juice do we have left? Uh, we got 7%, so we're gonna throw in a new battery and we're gonna drive to the cabin. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, hell yeah, battery in 100%. And uh, what we got here, what we got here is Trout Creek. And uh, such a beautiful drive, such a beautiful drive. So uh, I, I didn't see anybody on the bridge, but this is where I definitely wait, let them go because man, I drive 35 and everyone else drives 55. Man, the mailman, holy Toledo, UPS driver, holy hell. I mean, uh, man, it's like 65 miles an hour. He's just whipping around these corners. You can hear him, you know what I mean? Like, you're like, what's that whistle in the air? Well, yeah, that's three miles away. That's the UPS driver. And then sure enough, you know, I mean, three minutes later, he's going 60 miles an hour around these corners, and you're just like, whoa! And then about 15 minutes later, he gets to the end, because this is a dead-end canyon, he's got to go back the same way. So, uh, yeah, holy Toledo. I've never seen faster drivers than UPS, you know what I mean? That should be their, that should be their advertising motto. Be like, UPS, we drive fast as hell, you know what I mean? We don't give, uh, you know what I mean? too much AC. We're gonna actually turn on the heat and try to open the window in a second. Oh, this corner is just wild, wild as. 15 miles an hour, people try to go around here 30. I'm just gonna stay to the end, so we might die right now and that's all right. Holy hell, you know what I mean? Some just say, just go fast through here, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I'm gonna go up against the cliff because I literally do not wanna die through there. That's my whole goal in life, is to never have an accident right there. Holy Toledo. All right, heat's on, we're gonna open the window. Yeah, speed limit's 35. Man, if you just go 30 to 25, 25 around the corners, 30 on the straights, it's just a beautiful drive. You know what I mean? Don't take you much longer. You're only saving a couple minutes if you speed anyway. And it, well, what's that? You know what I mean? You don't want to be gripped. I'm trying to I'm trying to live an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. And if it wasn't even for that going slow, having this conversation, I want to realize, damn, I need I need to drink some fluids. I need to drink that orange juice. So that's what I'm gonna be focused on. That, that's the issue with bipolar. You're just like you forget to put gas in your car. You, you forget to fill yourself up with food and, and, and hydration. Hell yeah, those deer are bounding. Woo! Amazing, amazing. Yeah, it's a mother trying to corral her two kids up the gulch. It's like, hell yeah, be afraid of cars.
Oh, is that bear scat? Yeah, that's bear scat. Yeah, spring and fall, man, the bears are just out. You know what I mean? They're 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 in this they're up again. They're all they're all up this roadway. There's stuff to eat. In fall, there's berries to eat. On the way back, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely check to see if that was bear. You know what I mean? Maybe it's just like horse. But uh, let's see. Yeah, that's horse. That's horse poop. Okay, yeah. Someone's just walking their horses on the road. Yeah, it's just like spring though. Someone was saying the springs, the bears can be out because they got their kids and they'll be down low. You know, eating whatever, I guess. But in the fall, they are eating all the choke cherries up the roadway. There, there's some bushes when, when it's not farmland. But yeah, that's not bear stuff. That's just horse. But uh, man, and then you'll see just big old piles of uh, bear scat on this road. And it's terrifying. I hate working up here in the fall just by myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a perfect way to hydrate. Orange juice in one squirt and then water to... It tricks your brain. Your brain wants sugar, but it knows if it's got sugar, it needs some hydration. Don't want to be dehydrated. So that's the orange juice. That's the water. We're basically done. Sorry for having to tilt my head each time, but hell yeah. Yeah, cool little gulches. Yeah, some of these gulches you can just drive up if you want to. Here's the neighbor. And uh, yeah, it looks like they had a machine come through and, and uh, you know what I mean, take down some trees. Whoa, they took down that tree, damn it. I can't believe they did that. That tree was a good one, that whole bush tree. Yeah, someone came in, they're just like, we own the first five feet off the roadway. So that's interesting. So uh, we, we, we better do this before we get run over. But uh, yeah, there's a blind corner. This is the one the UPS drivers go like 60 miles an hour around. Uh, and, and and I didn't want to do that anyway. We're gonna back up right into this hole uh, But maybe we don't back up. Maybe we just go like this. Ooh, do not put your wheel over the edge But uh, yeah, darn it. There was a nice tree there, but that's fine I was thinking about getting rid of that tree myself. So it looks like someone did it for me and uh, Yeah, 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 so uh, the road company, you know, they're just like yeah We own six feet on both sides I guess and we're gonna make sure there's no trees encroaching and so they took care of it now, uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I should put on my flashers. I don't want to. Screw it. You know what I mean? Uh, if someone run in, into the car, even though we're close to the edge, you know what I mean? It's 35 mile an hour. You know what I mean? It's walking pace out there. Don't go 60 and don't go run into this vehicle. If you run into it, you know, shame on you. You know, it's not in the roadway. And, uh... <laughs> all right let's do it i think i need the respirator for this one we're gonna be dumping dirt and it's gonna get all sooty and uh hell yeah running strong on battery life 
all we came out here to do was this so uh make sure nothing's gonna fall out of the old pockets and uh yeah so this is the hole we were filling in you know what i mean uh and I guess we're, we're just gonna, I mean, even just right here, it can be more, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, I can just have an even, so right here, we put a little bit more, and uh, even right here, all that can just be more. So we're gonna rake up the sides. So I guess let's do that first. Whoa, let's get Big Bertha out of here. Uh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just, just to give you a little taste. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, we're doing this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's it. That's it. You know what I mean? And, uh, just on repeat. And put the buckets like that. I mean, so, so, so satisfying. It's nice to have a hole you can just drive up to. Yeah, I guess that's a, you know what I mean, got a little asphalt in there. I guess that's all right. Uh, so now we're, we're going to get the rake, get the rake going. I mean, I guess there's asphalt right there, so who cares, right? All right, we'll get this off. Get this out. Okay, okay. We'll see what we want to do. We'll see what we want. Yeah, we just put the asphalt right at the bottom. You know, anything funky, rocks and stuff. Uh, I mean, they really tore this up, so, uh, I mean, we, we gotta stop, like, right there, because we gotta, we gotta pull those out at some point. Alright, hell yeah, got all the asphalt all together. Now, now we can just cover it, now we can just cover it. See it? And the idea isn't to have to rake, you know what I mean? Because we'll, I think what we'll try to do is uh, push it with, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. But maybe we can just do that. Some more asphalt. Get that down there. sure we're still recording hell yeah But it's amazing how, you know what I mean, all those buckets hardly fill in anything. You know what I mean? So uh, if you got a hole to fill, man, yeah, you can really just, just go for it. Hey, a puzzle piece. Interesting.
All right, that's getting a little bit big. So we're just gonna, I don't know, just easy does it maybe. Some garbage in there, it's all right. All right, don't want to do too much extra work though. But hey, this is going pretty good. And even if we just pile it up, I got a John Deere tractor. Now we, we can smooth it out later. All right, this one's tough. Okay, there we go. All right, just walk the dog. You don't want to hurt yourself. No reason to go any faster than you need to. This one's a heavy one, too. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, that, that was the thing. Yeah, just... Uh, that, that, that's a better method. If you want to get to the dirt, like, way down there... I totally forgot about that. We're gonna shoot that out of there. Hell yeah. There you go. Alright, take our time. Walk the dog. Just like a big old steering wheel. Okay, so now we're just gonna do this. Yeah, and then do it again. And then at least you get a little bit down there. You know what I mean? Every bit, every bit can't, every bit helps. And we need to grab her. It's holy to leave. We can't be leaning over more than we need to be. And we're, we're going to start a new row of buckets. All right, that kind of works. I think I think there's a better system. You know what I mean? This is the fun thing about experimentation. Is uh, check this out. I think I think I got something. Whoa! Don't drop all that crap. All right. So uh, what I think we want to do is just roll it out sideways. So we're just gonna roll it out and then have it go sideways. Uh, no, nope, that didn't really work. And if you had a lid, if I just had one lid, then you could put a lid on it and then uh, you could just roll it down the hill, open the lid. So that would be an interesting thing. And I could, I could probably always put the ramp out and then, uh, and then just get them individually and I can just start filling this in. 
and this is all our property up to uh, that red uh, that red tree so this is we own it hell yeah but I guess they have the right to, you know what I mean, cuts. Yeah, that's like 10 feet away from the roadway. So that's what the road company did. They wanted to make sure that got cut out for visibility's sake. And that's fine. I mean, at the end, I, I want this filled in because, uh, you know, just so you could drive up onto the property. So this will be the next. So just in the future, if I got any of this soil, it's going right through here. It's real easy just to drive it here, fill this in. I gotta pull these out with the bigger rig or or just chop them and then cover them you know what i mean chop them real low with the chainsaw and then be on my way yep so i'm just gonna dump dump and go you know what i mean we, we can't make this uh, too much harder. Uh, we just gotta go hit the easy button, hit the easy button. But this it, it, it is farther. We gotta walk the dog just a lot farther. So uh, it is interesting. Oh, there you go. All right, I need to use those grabbers. Too much, too much leaning over. And even putting my knee right here. This isn't the best. This isn't the best on my back or anything. So maybe if I can just go a little faster. Just walk the dog. Get it out here. And I, I think I just have to be kind of like one and done. Kick it out. Uh, be on my way. Uh, and when you get it right here... You know, time for the grabbers, kick it, you know, get all that out of there, pick it up with the grabber, you know what I mean, even just slide it in place, that, that, that's the tricky one, there we go, perfect. Alright, come in here, just real quick movements, just kind of walk that dog. Hell yeah. Man, gotta get the grab, even just for all this stuff. It's, it's gonna be worthwhile. Use the grabber, save your back. Hell yeah, get that in there. How many more do we have? We got a lot more. It's all right. This is the way to do it though. We're gonna walk the dog this way. Six more, I don't know. I think this is the hardest part, just kind of walking the dog, but uh, I don't know. I feel like it's just the kneeling that's hard, not the arm workout. But this part seems hard too. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe just use the feet. That might help. Go slower. Perfect. Get the grabbers. One more time.
All right, hardest part, hardest part right here. All right, take your time, get the grabbers. Do a little kick. All right. Grabber, I'm in. Whoa, three more. All right. Let's get all the way in here. All right, got that one to there. Got that one to there. All right, don't work like you just don't care. You know what I mean? Especially when you get down to the end. You may find something that you like, find a system that works. Uh, you know, use your feet. Even if it takes longer. Use those grabbers. And I guess I'm just talking to myself, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, want, I want to work another hour. I want to work another day. All right, there should be three rows, but those rows of buckets are too much. Hell yeah, last one, amazing. Use your feet. Hell yeah, use the grabbers. All right, hell yeah, we did it. And, uh, Man, we can get the we can get these buckets back in. We'll just slide them in just like that. This is a great way to stack buckets though. Do it sideways. Uh, so there you go. Alright, what else do we want to do today? I think we want to make this so it doesn't look just so bad. Um, Cause yeah, we're, we're gonna try to, like a lot of this soil is pretty good. Like that'll kind of grow grass. Get the big sticks out of there. Yeah, so yeah, look at that. Just a lot of good soil. I'm, I'm glad the soil was kind of the last thing. Um, Cause yeah, that looks real nice. And what did I say about uh, raking gravel, raking dirt? Only go a foot. So going like in here, it's even like six inches. You know what I mean? We're we're just cutting that off and filling it right there. You know, nothing more. And a lot of that ain't good soil anyway, so uh yeah. But yeah, at the end of the day we'll we'll just we'll just cut this so it's flat. I mean we need a flat surface in here anyway. Um, that was that was the whole point. 
Like even right here, it needs to be higher. So, you know, that that's done. And then obviously though, right here, you could definitely use this to fill in right there. And then we'll call it a day. And like I said, I got the John Deere if I want to plow this stuff. But even here, I can definitely fill this in. This is kind of a low spot from there to there. So yeah, I can really fill this in, uh, really level that all out. So that was a whole truckload and you, you see what it, uh, you know, not much. Now, if I had other holes that didn't need to be quite so firm, you know what I mean? You could put in compost like, oh shit, let's get this off. All right, yeah, so if I, if I had holes that are bigger, you know what I mean, don't need to be so firm when you walk on them, you know, that, that that's where you could put, like, your composted leaves and, and stuff like that. Um, you know what I mean? We'll just, man, we'll, should, should I get this car out of the way? And, and then we'll kind of, so there's two properties here. One property is over here, and one property is right here, you know what I mean? And uh, we haven't done anything with them for a year. It is all overgrown a little bit. That was for sure overgrown. And, and you can put a home site right down there. You can do whatever you want with this. I was just thinking for time being, you know me, it's fun to have little little places if uh, friends came and, you know, have their own little campground. You know me, picnic table, uh, you know, a fire, fire, you know, thing or whatever. But you, you just you just invite the whole neighborhood up here um you know so that's what i was thinking about but it's not flat through there so anytime i mow you know I me mean, this whole so there's the property marker right there so you do have property up here too both sides but anytime i mow i'm, I'm trying to get all that to, um compost down there you know what I mean? because no one's going to walk down in some of those areas so yeah it, it can spend 20 years composting just naturally you don't have to like work too hard but uh we'll see because this summer, see that pile right down there? Uh, I do need to find a place, and there's not too much grass growing right now, but I do need to find a place where uh, I can uh, I can compost where it's not just going to you know, catch the whole forest on fire. You know what I mean? Because if you're not on top of your compost, hey, it can get real hot. You know, and you uh, you mow this just after a rainstorm because you kind of want to mow it when you're not going to burn down a forest. So you get kind of wet grass, pile that up. Man, that's going to be smoking in two days. So uh, I definitely want to build my spot where I can compost where if it does catch fire, it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Um, but it definitely ain't in this field. It definitely ain't near those trees. But down here where you'd want it to be, well, then you might smell it for like a week. You know what I mean? Like, whoa, that compost smells. So it's kind of hard to find the spot where you can just, you know what I mean, have a compost heap that's not going to break the bank. Uh, I, I don't know where that is. But anyway, um, I'm pretty satisfied for what, what I want to do out here. And I think we did it. And uh, I, I'm going to call it. You know, I don't know if I want to do too much uh, footage out at the, the cabin area. Um, just because we're not out here very much. And uh, yeah, it's always nice to have a little privacy. But okay. So uh, guess what? That's a video. Man, this GoPro, I, I push the button and it don't turn off. Sometimes it just turns off all the time. I don't know. It's just like GoPro's just like, hey, 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 hey talk more to the camera. We, we, we want to know uh, what you're like when, 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 the, when the button gets pushed. But I, I've pushed it about five times now. Ain't nothing happening. And I don't want to push the other button. That's just the off button. So uh, I'll push it and hold. I don't know what I'll do. You know what I mean? It's crazy. You tell me. Why, why when I push the button does the GoPro just not turn off and 
I mean, I, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I, I don't get it. it, it all right. Oh, hell yeah. So I just got done moving, raking all that gravel, putting it in buckets, putting it in a van uh, all day, getting it out to uh, a hole right over here. And uh, we filled this hole. Now, this video's like, uh, hey, I, I put that, uh, you know what I mean, ibuprofen cream on my knee and a little bit on my back. Now, uh, was I satisfied? Well, I've done it a few times, and when I was in pain, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know, you know what I mean? What was it, did it keep in from locking up and stuff like that? Did it keep my knee from just growing like that blueberry gal on Willy Wonka? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. But today, hell yeah, the knee feels good. The back, that was too much though. I tried to make a video of like, hey, can I move, you know what I mean, 50 pound, five gallon buckets of dirt and gravel around? Well, hell no. Can you do that without back pain? Hell no. You know what I mean? Uh, is my back a little bit painful today? I, I would say so. I better take it easy for the next couple days. But the knee, hell yeah. I'll, I'll at least put that stuff on once a day uh, if I need it. You know what I mean? Don't want to go heavy on it because I want it to work. I don't want to just put, you know, crazy stuff in my body all the time. Uh, so if I can ice, compress, rest, eat anti-inflammatory foods, do things with proper mechanics, uh, I'll do that. And if my knee pain is coming from my back pain, well, let's take care of the back first. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is just like a, sure, I'm using that ibuprofen cream. Uh, do I like it? Sure, if it works. And uh, do I not want to take it every day? Hell yeah, I don't want to take it every day. But if I go rafting, you know what I mean, and I'm just like, hell yeah, slather my whole body in that. You know what I mean, go through a car wash of ibuprofen cream, and uh, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll just be 25 out there. You know what I mean? That, that, that's what I'm going for. I just don't want to do that every day of my life. Anyway, uh, that's the ibuprofen cream, and that's the video.